Hey everybody, it's me, Sable. Welcome to Trans Life. Um, it's a couple days after my birthday. Um, this is the first Wednesday in March. Um, there's not too much different. Um, I've been having a few little issues here and there. Um, emotionally, um, some uh, insecurities maybe, or like questioning myself. Um, part of me feels like, you know, like I'm doing the right thing and I'm going in the right direction. Um, the other part of me thinks that you're gonna miss being just a guy being a gay guy and you know doing all the all the fun things that you did before as just a guy but I feel like I've already started transition so I should go through it and you know I never stop something that I start so it's like you know, but this is something that if I'm gonna stop it, then I really need to stop now because um, if I keep going, I already have breast growth. You know, I have some really small boobs, um, and they're very, very sensitive and tender, and um, they're almost to the point where, um, like, they're very noticeable. So as a boy. It just looks like I'm fat and have man titties, but um, I, yeah, as a girl, of course, they just look natural and, you know, look, uh, they look like boobs, but do they go away if you stop taking hormones? Will your natural breast start to disappear as you get, like, um, as you get, like, your testosterone back, or will they always be there? Um... And for those of you who know me, what do you think, I mean, about this, you know? I think, you know, if I went through transition, you know, I know I'll be happy, you know? I know that I'll look good at the end of it. You know, I'm not there yet. You know, we all have a journey to get to the point that we want to be, but, um, and I know I'm not there yet, but, uh, the other part of me is just like, you know, the things I used to do, the type of sex I used to have, um, the guys, you know, like my ex-boyfriend and stuff, just everything was very, very different, and I felt different about it. And I'm just so confused <laughs> right now, it's just crazy. Um, but when I think about it, and I think about the miserable times when I felt like there wasn't a guy out there in the gay community that wanted to have a boyfriend and wanted um, a relationship. I just felt like they all just wanted to fuck. I felt like, um, you know, nothing mattered except getting off and all of that. But, uh, you know, I feel differently about life in general when I'm dressed as a girl and when I feel like a girl, you know, which is the majority of the time. Um, but there's times when I really miss it and I think, you know, if I continue with this, then it's going to be too late to stop and uh, just be a guy and be able to run around with no shirt on and you know, and shorts and all that stuff. You know, yes, I love the attention that guys give me when I'm dressed like a girl, but am I doing it for the right reasons? Am I becoming a woman for myself, you know? Or am I doing it for the attention of straight men? Which I get no matter what, you know, that's it's kind of crazy. Um, people can deny it all they want, but there's a lot of straight guys out there who if you look like a girl, it really doesn't matter to them. Um, and that's just been proven. I mean, it's proven. Um, 
I'm sure there's some straight guys out there, if you're watching this video and you're straight and you would never mess with, you know, a trans person, um, trans girl or whatever, um, then, you know, you're the exception. But, you know, when I'm out and I'm walking down the street as a girl, I get honked at, guys stop, they ask me if I want to ride. That's one of the perks of, you know, being a girl, is that, um, if you're stranded and you need a ride, somebody's gonna stop <laughs> and offer to give you a ride. So, um, and like they open doors for you at the mall or at a store, a grocery store, you know, and like they make me feel special and they make me feel like a lady. And I'm really, really addicted to that feeling uh, of being treated with respect and being treated like a lady. I like that. Um, and I'm sure a lot of trans girls out there really enjoy that attention. Um, and it's not that that's a bad thing, you know. I'm sorry I'm just rambling, but I have a lot on my mind right now. Um, you know, I've been hanging out with my friends, Miss Reyna, um, my friend Ernie and Miss Tina, and them. so... Um, I've got a lot going on in school still, and just trying to get out of my parents' house so I could dress like a girl all the time, um, but I don't want to do that until I get, like, uh, the rest of my laser done on my face. Um, speaking of, I was going to tell you guys that I went and I got one, one laser session, I know I mentioned that before, but... Um, it took like three weeks, and then I noticed a really significant loss of hair, and then only a little bit of hair would grow in, um, you know, bits and pieces. So, and then I have to go back on the 23rd, 24th, and, um, and they're gonna like kick up the laser, and it's gonna get more of the hair, um, out of my face the next time, which I can't tell you the amount of confidence that not having hair on your face gives you, because um, even with the even with the hair loss that I've got, I know I still have hair, but um, it just makes you feel prettier. It makes you feel like, well, hey, maybe, you know, you know, maybe I could do this maybe this will really work out the way you want it to, you know? And, you know, I have hope. So, um, I'm running out of time for this video, so I'm gonna do another one, which will be uh, my Translate Update Part 2. So, um, watch them both. So, Alright, love you guys, and um, catch you later.